Okay, so we're live. Here we go with um, Wink versus Riot. Wink just edged out Poffer in the last game, 16-12, while Riot won 16-7. Some uh, really, really tense play in the Wink game. Um, I didn't actually get to watch the Riot game because we couldn't get the, uh, the other thing sorted or the microphone sorted, but um, should be alright here. It looks like Wink person on the A side. No frag just yet, Pat Tazzle picks one up, but Tommen also drops hype. Down to a 3v2. Bomb should go down. 3v3 rather. Bomb does go down. Three V3, Ellie just picks one up. And Tommen with another shot. And Riot are gonna pick up this first round with the defuse. in the middle very early in this round. Look, Duke drops one, but he gets picked up. So, we're down to a high last man standing. And actually nobody died in the, on the right side that time. Hype gets dropped, so... Flawless round there from right. I'm just gonna still fix some of the settings here, so apologies. So hopefully everything's okay for you now guys. Um got Coog coming up from the underpass. Pablo's already been picked up though, so he's been dropped with uh take the middle control as Tazel takes down Cinder in connector, so they're back to a 4v4. This favors the terrorists. Cause a stretch. Uh, Spike gets a lovely shot onto Tumman in the connector again, so terrorists now that's Wink. And they've got the uh the man advantage here, they could be looking to pick up their first shot, but Ellie with the push through, drops the bomb carrier, and he's got the bomb here, and the quick rotate coming from Doof, and Dave L moving over also, and Ellie's got that bomb covered as Doof picks up a frag. Ellie gets a second one, great push from him. Dave L, big grenade coming. But again, hype the last man standing. Best he could hope for here looks like is to maybe do some damage. And he does pick up Doof. And he's moving back towards the apartments. He's gonna he's looking to try and get that bomb. Twenty seconds left. Might be better for him to just try and save this gun at this stage. He's not gonna get the bomb and plant it. Uh, it does look like he's just going to try and save that, and with the positions of the CTs, I'd say, oh, he may have a chance. He does manage to kill Dave L, but Ellie's not leaving that bomb, so Hype manages to do a lot of damage in that round. Picks up the last two frags, so they've done some damage to the economy. Not great money on the terrorists in this round after the timeout. 
and Wink look like they are gonna go for Tech Nines, some grenades. Tommen drops Pablo with the first shot there. Threw the smoke, looks like probably a one way if he threw it. And actually managed to spot that who threw that, but. There's smoke, Doof spamming through the smoke, manages to drop hype, but he gets dinked himself. So down to a 5v3. On these four surrounds, I reckon Wink, Wink should have just tried to gung ho, go power through, and see what they could get. Ellie seems to have that house on lockdown. Cinder and Coog very close to each other here. They don't really realize it just yet. Tom and drops Coog and Tazel on the slow walk to A. They look like they're going to try and push this and get the bomb down, but they have Wink haven't managed to kill a single member of Riot just yet. And Cinder picks up the final two frags. Really strong work from Riot. Got a strong CT hold there. They all seem to be working quite well. Tommen dropping the AWP on people from the middle. Wink again. Just trying to even out their money, I guess, going for a few Tech Nines and an Eagle. Some um, utility on the terrorists, so maybe just trying to get. Couple of grenades down, rushing, get a bomb plant, but Tommen manages to drop spike in the first, first blood of the round. As are looking for the Tech Nine, but no. I do will be able to hear him running there. Here comes a big flashbang from him. And Ellie in a great spot to get them. Delayed that really well. He managed to pick up a uh, Molotov frag and also. Drops one more, Tazel gets one frag, but he gets taken down by Doof. And we've got Pablo looking for the bomb. It's been dropped in sight. Ellie spots him out. Oh, and he's get wall banged. Tummins on the flank. Pablo does manage to drop Cinder, so he does get a little bit of um, money forced to spend. By, by Riot, but uh, finally we've got a, a big buy in from Wink into this round, so they'll be looking to do something here before this starts get on a, getting out of hand. Double up setup on Riot for this one. Well, we've got all AKs on wink side. Looks like they're going to be trying to set up for some kind of smoke. Um, thing there. This kook does get dropped from underneath by Cinder. Big smoke grenade goes in, covering it off for a little while longer, but the smokes are going to come in onto A from Wink. I'm going to see what they've got in this execute. Four men rolling around to it. But Riot have a strong presence on here. They've got three men on top, but here, here comes the push. Spike picks up the first shot on Dave L. Tazza with the big grenade goes into CT. They look like they've got the site here. They could have planted this. They could plant this one straight away. They're gonna get it down. Good smokes. Big grenade comes in, and there's still 4v4, so they're gonna need to get to some decent after plant positions. He spots one out, and Spike picks up a headshot on Tom, and that's the off down. Doof picks up another frag through the smoke. Doof's going to get another one here, and he does. Down to a 3v2. Bomb's ticking away still. Cinder manages to get a headshot on Hype. And picks up the last frag on Tazo. They had good good after plan positions, but that was just a really good retake from the Riot boys. And maybe a little bit predictable with the positions, but they've done well. Another double up setup going out for Riot. They managed to get another um, full buy-in from the Wink boys.
Not a bad execute from Wink on the last round. They managed to pick up the first frag, they just couldn't hold it. Just couldn't hold the after plan positions. So, getting strong. Movement towards A. Although, it looks like Riot have got a strong, strong push up. It'll go on from Cinder, and he is getting all sorts of information there. He knows well they're not there now, so it's either going to be an A or a B site. And they've got the B site pretty uh, heavily guarded. Even though it looks like they're going to go towards A. More smoke's coming in, and it looks like they're going towards A with the push. And the respawn, or the re, um, retake has come up. Dave gets dropped from Shadow. The smokes have held them off quite well here. They need to get the bomb down pretty quickly. It's coming out of Palace. Spike with a good flashbang gets down Cinder, but he gets legged himself. Duke drops one, so we're down to a 3v3. Not much health left on the terrorists, and Tommy picks up another shot. Very, very low health. On the T's, one grenade can take them both out here. 17 HP between them. Doof manages to drop one. I think they know where the last man is. And Tom misses the first shot, but he picks him up with the pistol. So, again, great retake from Riot. Very good um, take in the first place from Wink. Um, the smoke's really working out for them. It's just, they get, managed to get the bomb down in three of the four rounds, but they just couldn't hold it. Riot very strong on their CT halves and plenty of money going around. Again, Wink can afford to buy was it their last streak. Pablo looking to go and get an early shot. More smokes going in. Looks like Wink have really worked on these smokes for the A site. They're just pushing straight through them. Cinder picks up the first frag and the second, and he's going to get a third. He kicks up a fourth, and it could be the ace for Cinder. As he's managed to get it, but it looks like Coog is nowhere near him. He can't pick up the ace. Although Coog seems to be walking towards him, he may be able to get this final frag. And he does pick up the ace. Great play from Cinder there. Killed the entire team. He was in a really bad spot there, right on the edge of the uh, the smoke. They couldn't get him in a blind spot when they came through it. So really well played from him. And he is stepping it up here with 13 frags so far. Tumman weighing in with the op. 12 frags also. Dave L still on zero frags, but all of his frags are being stolen by Cinder. So it looks like three going under pass, and it looks like it's gonna be another A hit again. Pablo manages to get the first shot, Hype gets the second, so they've got two entries onto A here. They've got the sight, the only person left to hold it down is Doof. Pablo picks up a lovely shot onto him. The only person left to hold down the sight is Dave L, rather. And is he going to pick up his first frag of the match? Not this time. He gets dropped through the smoke, and it's a five on one, and an incredible play from Wink there. Great two extra um, frags at the start. Ellie does get one, but he dro gets dropped to one HP. So this is going to be the first round for Wink. And very well played by them. They managed to keep four alive, which is really handy for their money. They're very bad money, apart from that. And Ellie doesn't even manage to get his gun saved. So it's going to be the first round on the board for Wink. And you ought to think if they could get at least four, five, six rounds in this, uh, this half, they might not be too bad with that. Right of a very strong CT, CT side. And I think Wink's CT side is a bit stronger than their terrorist side themselves. So... Could be in for a good match here if they manage to get a few more frags together in a few more rounds. Big spread across the map for Riot as Coog picks up the first frag on Tommen in the underpass. Here comes a big flashbang from Tazzle. They've got two men on each side now. A hide coming up through a connector. Pushes the smoke, but he lands right on Cinder's face. And Cinder manages to drop him. So we're down to a 4v4. Wink need to step this up a bit. To get the bomb in. Cinder's on the edge of the smoke again. Drops Coog. He's been playing around those smokes so well. He got the last five frags from it. He picks up another fra another frag, but he gets dropped. So we're down to a 2v1. Cinder picking up three on the round. Tazzle doesn't have the bomb. It's dropped. 
and it's dropped in sight of Doof. So Hazel does manage to get the drop on Ellie, but he's been called now, so they know where each other are. 45 seconds, plenty of time to work with this. He's got the bomb in his sights. But Doof had the better angle on him. Just played that really well. Unlucky from Wink, they've managed to get their economy reset after one round, but 4,500-ish on each team, they could manage to do this. They could manage to uh, to buy a few things, and they are going to. I guess they're debating an op, but no, it comes in as AKs across the board. One tech nine. You can hear some cheering in the background there. Right of a very strong hole on the B site. There's two there every time. Doof at short. It looks like maybe a Wink are going to try B this time. But Tazzle pushes straight through. Gets the first shot onto Dave L. He's having a bit of a stinker so far. No frags. Uh, Tazzle gets a second entry onto A. Body blocks the sh thing. And he gets a third. So they need to get that bomb right away over to A. But they're not going to do that. They're pulling onto, onto B. So they've got the three round frag onto B. Tazzle manages to drag everybody out of position. Bomb goes down. And it's a 3v2 hold here. Ellie gets the first frag down to 2v2. Cinder coming in from short. Oh, and a bad spot from Spike. Gets caught on the rebound by Cinder. Molotov coming in to exactly where Coogan is left. And Cinder manages to drop him and he picks up the defuse. So, three frags for Cinder. Picks up the round single handedly almost. Ellie with two frags. Great retake from them, but again, Wink managed to get the bomb down, but they just cannot hold it. Been defused four times, so if they had those four rounds, that would be pretty impressive. Scoreline put up so far. And just a quick shout for the other game that's going on. Uh, I think we've got Hoffer against SF and SF are winning that one on cash 6-4 currently. And as I say that Dave L manages to get his first two frags alongside let's see who got those. Cinder with another 3k on the round. This guy's incredible. 22 frags, 7 MVPs. Unstoppable. Can anybody stop this guy? I don't know. And he's switching up his positions to different sites, so it's not like they can even go and try and avoid him. Wink looking to get a bit of middle control. They pushed it, and they have managed to get it. There's a lot of uh, focus around the connector as Doof picks up Spike. He gets dinked, but must have been through a wall because he's only down to 84 or so. 3 versus 5. Cinder picks up yet another frag. 23 frags in 12, mat 12 ha uh, rounds. Jesus, I can't even speak. Can't believe this. 23 in 12 rounds. And Doofs gets another frag. He's chiming in with a lot now as well. Good to see Dave L propping up the bottom of the scoreboard with two frags. But uh, he hasn't really needed to get any more frags than that. Cinder's been carrying big time. So, some more Tech 9s and some armor for Wink. Hopefully they can manage to get a few rounds on the board here because it doesn't leave them much room to work with. And they're going to be looking to go underpass again to try and hit A. So I guess they're going to try... No smokes, with one smoke, a couple of flashbangs, try and get in and get an early plant. Oh, it's Cinder hiding again. He manages to just get one, he fluffs the first frag, but Coogan picks him up. Dave pushes, gets his third frag, and we're down to 5v4. We need to get that bomb out and get it on the site. Oh, and Tazzle just turns away at the long last second. Missed it. Down to a 2, 2v3 now, down to a, let's see, 3v1. Not bad for just a few um, tech nines. But they had this pretty much on lock. 
Maybe I should have tried to save that, I don't know how long was left in time, but... Anyway, they'll be able to buy this round, and hopefully they'll get uh, some on the... Get some rounds on the board. Big grenade comes in and manages to pick up Pablo in his first frag, so bomb's gonna get dropped. That's bad news. They've set up their little um, play towards A that they've managed to get a couple of times isn't gonna be as effective with only 5v4. Dave L with the push, but he manages to get somebody, but he gets dropped himself, so it's down to a 5v3 now, but they've got the information. Hype gets smoked out of Palace. And Cougar's been dropped very low already. Good spread across both sites for uh, Riot still. And Cinder is holding there in the middle. Picks one up, but he gets Cinder gets dropped. So Hype has picked up the first frag. He's the last man standing again. Spots out one in the jungle, but he needs to go and get that bomb. And that bomb is down in the middle, and it's going to be a hell of a try to get that off him. CT's got this locked. That will end the half. 14 1. Really, really strong performance from Riot. Cinder with 24 frags on the half. You see a bit of banter between the boys there. Okay, so we've got the opening pistol round of the second half. Sending three boys to B with the bomb, and it looks like just the one for uh, Wink. That's going to be Pablo holding B, but it looks like Tazzle's in the store. So, welcome B. Let's see how they get going with this. Spike manages to get one through the smoke. They've got another one on site here. Ellie's pushing the smoke. Gets a shot on Spike. Dave drops the first frag on the B site. And gets a second. And they're down to one last. And he gets dropped. Great pincer movement there from Riot. And that's the 15th round. So match point we're looking at here. Last chance for Wink. They're going to need 14 in a row. To get this back to overtime. And they've gone for force pistols. They really had to, they've no other choice. Let's see what they got. Cinder gets the first frag, but Pablo picks one up too, and Hype picks up a third. So we're down to a 4v2 now. And it looks like the force pistols have worked out for this round. And Coogan picks up another one. So could the comeback be real? Duke, last man, gets dropped by Hype, so two frags for him on the round, two frags for uh, Pablo, is that correct? Yeah, and one for Coogan, so just 13 more rounds to come back now. It's a long way back, but you got to believe. Goes the smoke in the CT spawn. Not sure what that was about, but we'll uh, got a strong hold on B from Wink. Strong presence in there. Looks like it's the right thing because they're all moving towards B. Big smoke up. They're just going to walk straight through that. It looks like. Or right, here comes a flashbang. A couple of flashes. Molotov goes in. 
Tazel picks up one. Coogan picks up three in quick succession and gets dropped by Tazel with the third. So, they picked up another round. Just 12 to go. Couple of P250s for, uh, or five P250s for, uh, Riot in this one. Kogan with the lovely off shot picks up Cinder through the wall. Five V4. Kogan doesn't manage to get a boosted into the window, they manage to pick up the off. So Doof's got the off, Tumman and Doof in a 2v3. Tumman gets wrecked by the aim punch. Pablo gets doof, so that's the op taken care of. And Tumman, the only one left with a bit of a pistol. But he's on the quick rotate around, but they've managed to drop the bomb. In a CT spawn. Don't know if I've ever seen it drop there, but... They're on the hunt for this man with the pistol. Tommen just looking to see what economic damage he can do. A grenade, I thought that would have done more damage. Only drops him for about 10, but Pablo picks up the last frag. And 15-4 now for Wink. They have a strong CT side. Their T's, CT side <coughs> is generally stronger than their T, so let's see what they can get going here. If they can manage to pick up and bring this to overtime, it would be an incredible comeback. Single up on Coogan. Smoke down in middle. Tommen gonna smoke off the window. No, nope, he's going for top connector smoke. He was watching his fallen videos. And here it comes. And he's landed it. Still 5v4. Drops Tommen, so it's 5v4. Down to a 3v2 here. We're still going. Bomb gets planted, but hype on the retake is just down to Doof now. Only one left. And he's hiding in behind the van. He's very low on health, but he gets dropped also. So, Wink pick up another round. Defuse comes in. 15-5. Wink are starting to get rolling on their CT side. So we're 15 5 here, um, Riot on the Tech 9s. Pretty strong utility for the uh, CTs, so. Here comes smokes onto A. It's gonna be a straight up A rush. Diff coming out of the apartments. Big Molotov goes down, will it slow him down much? No thing, so they're pushing straight onto the site. Dave Ayle picks up one. Pablo fluffs his first shot on the guy in the middle, but he manages to pick him up then. Dave with two in the round. They're gonna get the bomb down here and it's like a 4v2. This could be it for Wink. Gonna need a hell of a retake to take this one back. Pablo looking for a wall bank. Don't know if he's going to do much damage through there. Does manage to pick up Tommen though, so this could be doable for Wink. Oh, he gets shot in the back by Dave. That's down to Coogan and he gets dropped, and that will take it for Riot Gaming 16 5. Good game, incredibly strong from Riot on the CT side, and there's really nothing you can do when you're up against that. I think Cinder dropped 24 frags in the first half or something. That's just something you can't really play against. So, I'm going to take a quick short break and I'll get on to the other stream. So.
Bear with me.